Maria Cornejo's life story is a true hero's journey. She grew up in England as a political refugee and graduated from college in London. She started her career in fashion by launching a line with John Richmond. A few years later, she moved to New York, where she opened an atelier in a garage on Mott Street in the late 1990s. Maria has said that she didn't really want to be a designer, yet from the very first dress she designed 25 years ago for her label, Zero Maria Cornejo, her love of color, simplicity, and ease immediately earned her a following of feminists, intellectuals, and artists looking for luxurious, modern, and intelligent designs. I don't think I am overstating it when I say she is a shapeshifter at the highest level. When it comes to the ongoing, ever-changing debate of what it means to be a woman, Maria adds to the conversation with brilliant and inventive ideas about how those very same women want their clothes to resonate and reflect who they are at any given moment. To Maria, even the word zero represents the power to hit reset and begin anew. For someone who claims to have never wanted to become a fashion designer, I am happy to tell you, Maria, that you have failed marvelously. And thank God. Because what would your loving fans from all over the world wear and be without you? It is my greatest pleasure to present the Jeffrey Bean Lifetime Achievement Award to Maria Cornejo. Oh my God, this is a little overwhelming, to say the least. Um, thank you, Laura. Your intelligence and heart and beauty are everything. And it's so hard to celebrate right now. I mean, I want to celebrate with you all because I am so proud to be here amongst you all. Um, but at the same time, as a mom, as a grandmother, I can't help but be heavy and feel the weight of what's going on right now. Um, as a political refugee and the current situation, it just so much reflects on my past. As a political refugee from Chile, education in the UK, where it was only possible to get an education because if you didn't have the means, in England you could at the time to get an education. I am super grateful to be given the Jeffrey Bean Design Award and to receive it amongst you all other honorees and peers, I am very touched. As a Latin independent designer, it means all the more because it's, you know how hard it is to be independent. It's 25 years. It's a lifetime in design. Um, I just want to thank you all, all my many friends and supporters since forever. I wish you were all here tonight. I created here in 1998 when my son, Joey, was eight months old, who's here tonight, and my daughter, Bibi, was six years old. I thought I was, I must have been crazy to open a store with an eight-month-old and a six-year-old. But, you know, having children opened up my eyes to the beauty of nature and how we must respect it, always. Sustainability has always been at the, at the bottom of my heart. 85% of our collection is locally produced in New York City. My happy place is my design studio. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Lisa and the CFDA. But most of all, thank you to my children, Joey and Bibi, for showing me the way of love and why it's important for us to care. Thank you to my Zero Maria Cornejo team who kept me going when many times I wanted to give up, and my business partner, Marisha, who kept pushing me when many a time I would have packed it all in. I dedicate this award to peace and the innocent children that are voiceless right now and will not have a lifetime. Thank you very much.